Hey, how's it going? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist and I'm really happy and really excited to get started with this painting. I started a little a little bit ago, but um, I, I asked permission to the, the, uh, the person that consigned me. I asked permission to, to go live. And so here I am, I'm going live. Uh, usually I don't go lives with, with commissions because they are personal. And so when I do is because I ask permission to do so. Okay, so here we go. This is one of the commissions uh, that I'm recording. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cerise. I really appreciate that. And so here we go. I started the painting before that. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm really excited. I'm really excited to go live. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And, and here we go. So I was about to start going into the flowers. I'm going to do some florals. This is a very special painting. And so, so uh, I, I, I'm very honored and very happy to do this commission. Because uh, from time to time, every commission is special, but, but some commissions are, are, are just extraordinarily special. And, and my love for birds uh, is just, uh, it, 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 it matters. It's important. So here we go. Oh, I love that. Love it so much already. Thank you. Thank you so much. And wave, wave. I'm going to wave, wave, wave. And wave. So we're gonna paint the flowers with a bit of pink and red, and we're gonna we're gonna be playing with with the shades here. As uh, this is part of, again, this is a commission, and this is part of of um, uh, the details of the commission. It's so beautiful. Look at that. There we go. I wanted to keep the, 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 the birds sort of playful, but looking at each other um, so, that, so that there was a, a connection. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I thought that was uh, that's pretty sweet. You know, when I was a when I was a child, my mother used to talk to me about birds. She was very she was a very spiritual woman, and and uh, later on. I started uh, reading about different philosophies and the meaning of um, that we as human beings, the meaning that we place on birds, and and it's been very interesting. It's it's uh, it, I mean I I've read all sorts of things about birds. One of the things that caught my attention most 
is that human beings for, for, for such a long time, we've revered birds because they, they, and they sort of transcend, not sort of, they transcend gravity. And, and, and gravity is the thing that, you know, that pushes us down, uh, pretty much meaning, meaning life or the world. And so they transcend the world. They're the closest things to angels. Many, many, many cultures believe that they are the closest things. If not, they are the representation of angels in in uh, in the planet. And so I've I've been very uh, very fond of of painting birds for for a long time. Uh, not just because of that, but but in part, you know, as I find out more about. Uh, just the beauty of this of these creatures. Look at that. Oh, very cool. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much for the for the uh, for the opportunity, uh, series. Thank you so much for the opportunity to create the the commission. I really appreciate it. Now what I want to do is I want to I want to be able to put a sky that doesn't compete so much with 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 the subject matter. Okay, so I believe this this uh, this blue is really going to really going to work. <laughs> I'm so glad. is perfect for this.
Look at that. What would you call this composition? This 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 composition is just a a uh, it would be considered something uh, a point of interest, just a point of interest composition where we're gathering everything to come to a center point. Um, it's not it's not a traditional composition. I'm not using rule of thirds, and and, and part of that also is because I wanted to. I wanted to give each each one of the birds a special place so I didn't want to either cluster them all in one corner in order to create a rule of thirds or something or I didn't want to create a uh, a more traditional pyramid composition putting putting both birds right here and then one I guess you could see this is a bit a bit pyramid but not as much uh, usually to to create a very uh, a pyramid composition you would need uh, some distance between so this the, the birds would have to come down here and then this one would be a little bit higher up usually pyramid compositions are are were very famous during the renaissance and maybe even till to the baroque even until the baroque but um i didn't want to do that i didn't want to make it too traditional i wanted to make it more more uh modern more contemporary And so just find a point of interest. Every, there's, there's a bit of, of one, one could even say there's a little bit of tension because, because all the beaks are pointing right here to this, to this almost little, 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 tiny little pyramid right here. Robert says, got it. Yeah, uh, you haven't taught this one. I like how the eye is drawn elsewhere. And yet, very pleasing. <laughs> very cool. Do you name your commission pieces? I I usually do. Most of the time, um, I, I I ask the 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 person what the person commissioning, what uh, the commission is uh, is about. Um, I happen I happen to to have a a, a good idea of, of names for the commission once I find out what the commission is about. Um, but I do, I do name them. Sometimes the, sometimes the, sometimes the, the person commissioning, um, comes up with the name. Sometimes they do. Depending if it's a, like if I'm doing a, a portrait of someone in a family or, you know, sometimes they're like, okay, well, this is Jack, right? This is Jack and that's the... That's what the commission is going to be called because I'm making a portrait of Jack. But if they leave it up to me, um, I also come come out with a with a name. Also because I have I, I, I get a bit of, of background as to what I'm creating, and so sometimes I have the liberty to to come up with a name. Yeah, this this was a request. I'm using oils. Yeah, this is a request. This is a commission. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my friends, I never record commissions. Uh, when I do, it's because I've asked the person who commissioned, who 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 had me. Uh, create the work um i ask for permission if i can record it and so so i was i was excited that i got a yes i had already started it when i when i began the recording but we still have we still have ways to go with the painting do you sketch it out first i don't I don't. I used to. I used to sketch them out. I don't anymore. Um, I've been very blessed with a, a fairly good understanding of, of my subject matter, and so I don't. I hardly ever sketch anything anymore. I used to. I, I, I sketched 
I mean, I sketch so much. I sketch till my till my my face turned blue. But I, I I've been blessed lately. The past uh, couple of years, I have I haven't sketched. Just about uh, very little, very very rare when I do. It's usually something. Um, something very very specific you know like and even though even though I, I still don't do it I, I've, I've done it a couple of times lately maybe like a, a few months ago I did it with an angel uh, and the reason I sketched it was to to fit it in, onto the canvas it was a very large canvas it was about a, a five foot canvas and I had to fit it in there so I loosely sketched it first but usually I don't Um, I'm in a very, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a very beautiful place right now as an artist. Uh, I, I feel, I feel very blessed because I, I'm in a place where, where I, I'm very confident with my, with my, my skill set and my subject matter, and so I, I, I talk a lot about this, uh, not thinking when I'm painting. Um, it wasn't always like this. A lot of it was uh, kicking and screaming, but. Um, but I feel very, very, very blessed lately. It's been a couple of years that, that um, um, you know, it, it feels when people say that you have mastered something. It's if I don't know if that's it, what's going on with me, but it, but it sure really feels like a weight has been lifted off my my back as an artist. Robert says, uh, wow, thank you. It must be a really great way to paint. It really is. It, it's almost it's almost like walking on water. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm walking on water. <laughs> uh, design by Cordoba says, beautiful. Do you use a drying agent? I don't. I have this huge couple of uh, large uh, fans uh, that I use uh, during winter because, you know, as... as, as those of you who know oil paint has to uh, dry. Um, it oxidizes, right? It, 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 the the film dries, but the, the 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 core of it has to has to cure, sort of like a cement or concrete. Uh, and so I use I use fans. I use fans to dry. It's not a very big problem anymore. It used to be not not as much anymore. Also, most of my buyers understand that that the painting uh, during winter it takes time, so they they they, they already kind of know that. You know, they're like, okay, he's gonna take a few more days to ship it. Not that much, but just a couple more days. Some don't, and so they're like, where's my painting? <laughs> so I have to explain it all over again. But most people do know. Artsy says, oils take too so long to dry, switch back to acrylic. Yeah, 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 it's true. It does take a long time. Robert says, do you paint seven days a week? No, not anymore. I paint about five or six days. Um, I used to paint seven days a week. Uh, lots of hours, lots of hours. 12, 16 hour days just painting, learning how to, how to, uh, how to play with a brush. I used to. Look at this painting. Yeah, I still do use acrylics, but I don't. I don't paint this way in acrylics. My acrylics are more more abstract. Um, 
and minimalist or a lot more minimalist than abstract i i tend to be more more loose even more loose with with uh with my charcoal drawings and and my acrylics uh watercolors also i try to be very very loose with them uh those of you who have uh seen my work on cherish or etsy or, or even on ebay you've seen the work that i have there um the the acrylics or, or charcoals or watercolors um my ink drawings also very very uh Very loose. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Jane says it's worth the wait. It really is. It really is worth the wait. Uh, Uma says oil would be fine on paper. It, it would if you're using, uh, if you're doing um, paper that you Usually I've, I've done I've done oil sketches or studies on watercolor 300 pound. It can even be less than that. 300 pound paper that you just sewed a couple of times and then and that's good to go. Uh, Sari says you look. Uh, you took the image in my mind and captured it so perfectly on canvas, friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you once again for for the opportunity to create this for you. I really appreciate it. It's. Uh, it's always an honor to be able to create commissions because I know that a, a commission is, is something slightly different. You know, it's, it's, it's something that, that someone, um, something more specific. So, so it's not, it's not a, it's not something that I just created out of nowhere. Um, and so I always feel, I always feel very honored. They're, they're special. They're special, very special. They have more meaning than, 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 you know, than what we see. Robert says, uh, when you used to paint that many hours, where do you, where you are an artist full time? Because you said learning question uh, is, did you have another job while painting? No, when I was painting that much, there, there was no way I could do anything else. I, I was a full time artist, but I considered, I considered a lot of that time learning. Although at the time I didn't know I was learning, at the time I thought I was a, uh, I was a, uh, at the time I, I felt I was Van Gogh, you know. <laughs> but looking back, uh, you know, with a little bit of humility, I look at it and I'm like, oh, I was learning. See, but you don't know you're learning. You don't, you don't know you're learning. M most people are learning and they don't know that. Most people are learning. It, it's, it's, uh, and it's not that you're learning how to paint. You're learning how to give up resistance to paint. Most artists have a lot of resistance when they're painting. There's a lot of resistance. There's a lot of fight. There's a lot of, I don't know if this is coming out good or not. There's, there's so much resistance happening that it won't let you paint. And so when you learn how to paint, it's not necessarily that you learn how to paint pretty flowers or, or, or pretty pictures. That's important too. Really what you're learning to do is you're learning to remove the resistance, especially when you're creating uh, intuitive or expressionist painting, you're, you're learning how to, how to remove the resistance from your mind. Artsy says, I'm still learning. Yeah, there's a lot of resistance uh, that, that we artists tend to carry. A, a lot of it is, is uh, it's all kinds of things, just not being, not being very present when we're painting, thinking of a, a million other things. Uh, another thing, it could also be um, the way we grew up. Maybe someone at home or somewhere told us that we weren't good enough, that we weren't enough. Um, Marissa Peer talks a lot about that. I've read some Marissa Peer on that. Um, also, it could it could very well be that that uh, there's some sort of resistance uh, in terms of deservingness, not necessarily from other people, but from ourselves, in terms of deservingness. You know, we could be self-sabotaging, all kinds of stuff. And so I found out that the the best way for me anyways was to, uh, quote unquote, purify my artistic, <laughs> my artistic self by by putting loads and loads and loads of work into it. I mean, basically, I, I did what um, 
what uh, some some cultures call uh, purifying. Some cultures call that purifying, where you 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 go on a journey or or uh, you go on a hike, or on a hike or on a, on a journey on a hike that is going to it's going to pretty much uh, not not physically but but metaphorically speaking is going to is going to kill your feet. Uh, you're gonna go on a hike that you know that is going to last I don't know uh, 60 days and you have just a little bit of water or a little bit of food and you're gonna have to figure it out as you go uh, that type of deal that's pretty much what I did to myself I am pretty sure that I've hurt my my shoulder my wrist my arm my back uh, I, I haven't even heard of anyone painting um, for you know 12 16 hour days seven days a week for a good seven year maybe even more i think i painted more like eight years in a row like that uh never even heard of anyone doing that i heard of people painting a lot i never heard of anyone waking up painting and then go to sleep and then repeat it again uh robert says thanks for the info very very useful all of your marketing strategies just watch how you got started uh, putting ads on Craigslist gotta go thanks man really love your work thank you so much I appreciate it we're too critical yes as artists we're very very critical but um, but at some point we start moving out of that and we start creating beautiful things like this and, and we, we begin to accept our greatness I think everybody everybody um, is destined if you keep moving forward, you, you, you're destined to accept your, your greatness, what you're good at. You begin to accept it. So there it is. Thank you again. Thank you so much, Cerise. I really appreciate it. I'm going to uh, do a couple more touches. That way you guys can see it. Love the close-up, thank you. So we're gonna do a um, we're gonna get a little bit of gray for our branches here. Um, because it, it's very easy to overlap um, bright colors, you know, it's very easy. Um, but um, gray is, is just such an important color when you're using very bright colors such as this one. Uh, it, it gives a room for the eye to rest. This is why I went with that gray, almost gray sky. But, um, but it's very bright though. So I wanted to make it very bright. I don't want to make, I don't, I don't want to make it uh, like, a, like a sad color or anything like that. I wanted to keep it bright. But giving at the same time giving uh, giving the focus to the subject matter to the to the flowers and the birds. go Maybe a little bit of black and red I'm gonna mix a little black and red not too busy I don't want to make it too busy but I do want to put more nature around nature is always a, a a sign of, of, of that which is pure. There we go. And the artist signs. 
Marina says it's another masterpiece, Jose. Thank you so much, Marina. This was a, a commission. Um, Cerise says, I love it so much. You nailed it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, M. Claire says, thanks thanks for, encourage, for the encouragement uh, to not be so critical on work. Uh, have a long way to go. Yeah, it's very easy to be critical. You know, it's... We shouldn't even focus on that because it's one of the easiest things. Um, so he says, I'm already searching for the perfect place for it. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you so much. What's happening, Eric? Yeah, I hope that by by me showing these videos and, and, and talking about the process more and more, um, um, I'm able to... to to remind, right, remind, because I'm not teaching anything new, uh, to remind artists out there to not be so critical and just be more open and 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 loving with yourself, you know. Be kind. Be kind to yourself. I think that's that's important. Before I before I, I learned how to start being kind to myself, I did a lot of kicking and screaming. And so I, I, I get it. I know I, I spent uh, I spent years kicking and screaming because my work was in what didn't look the way that I wanted it to look like because I didn't have a, a specific style because I didn't know how to mix colors correctly because I didn't know how to draw the way that other people drew and on and on and on and on and so till I, I got to a point where that started diminishing you know it's almost like it's almost like like that part of my ego is like not not so messy anymore you know so I'm, I'm i'm grateful for that so thank you so much everybody thank you thank you thank you again everyone thank you cerise and i'm going to just let you know this painting has to dry for a couple of weeks before i ship it to you um but uh once it's ready i'm gonna let you know once it's ready to ship out and you're gonna love it thank you Thank you, everyone. Stay well and sophisticated, people. I'll talk to you guys later.